Hey guys, how's it going? It's Joy. I am back, you guys, with another video here. So, um, welcome. This channel is called Live Not Free. This is all about inspiring and motivating you guys to live your best life. Also helping you guys to overcome narcissistic abuse or any other things in your life that you may deal with or struggle with. All right, so if this is you guys' first time listening to me, um, I've been dealing with narcissistic abuse since 2010. Um, I had an aunt that was a narcissist who I lived with for five years. I had a guy that I was dating um, for about four years. And I went no contact um, with those um, individuals around the same time. Well, one was a year later after. Um, but since 2016, I have been helping people overcome narcissistic abuse, understand, gain awareness, move on, get clarity and be successful and be happy, you know? So today's video is going to be an interesting topic. Um, for those of you that um, have been married to a narcissist um, or you know, maybe some of you guys are going through a divorce or anything like that. Um, this could definitely be helpful and give you some sort of clarity and guidance on what to expect. Um, now, some of you guys may not know you're dealing with a narcissist. So, you know, you, you may be unaware, but um, you may have some sort of clue if you're um, watching this uh, video. Um so yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So uh, basically with a narcissist, when it comes to divorcing them, first of all, it will not be easy. They won't make it easy for you to go through this, um, this difficult time in your life. You know, they're going to make it even more difficult for you. Um, they will cause you drama. They will cause you chaos and confusion and very... Um, conflicting um, kind of mayhem, they will bring that to your life. They will bring that to the divorce, um, just a heads up. And I'm speaking for personal experience with this, um, but they don't want you to move on. They, they don't want to see you happy with anyone else. Um, they're going to try and stop you from, you know, breaking free from them. That's the last thing that they want you to do. Um, you know, and sometimes they may, you know, play the victim and say, you know, you shouldn't leave me. I was there for you. You know, look where I look where you were before I saw you or before I met you and how I helped you come up. You know, you owe me, you know, they're, they're very, they have that sense of entitlement. A lot of narcissists are like that. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, they don't want you to move on. And even this person could already not necessarily be married to anyone else, but they could already be living with another person or they could have a new supplier. They could have a new girlfriend or a new a new boyfriend or whatever. Just keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, and uh, they will make false. They will accuse you. They make false accusations um, against you in your marriage or, you know, when you're trying to divorce them. So some of them, they may even go to courts and they may try to file, you know, a restraining order on you or they may try to get an order of protection against you. Um, so keep that in mind. Now, if you do have children with this person, they may even try to put the kids against you again, you know, blaming you for splitting up the family um, you know, and like you're the cause for everything happening. You're ruining their life. They, they will accuse you, blame you for cheating, lying and stealing. And these are all the things that the narcissist has done to you during the relationship, done to you during your marriage, right? Narcissists love drama. They love confusion. They love competition and um, gossiping, you know, um, they'll definitely do a smear campaign against you during your um, your divorce proceedings. You know, they'll again, they'll blame everything on you. You were at fault. It's your pro it's your problem. You know, it's you're the reason for the divorce. Right. All right. And sometimes the, the narcissist, what they'll do is um, they'll try to bargain with you. You know, some of them, they just they can't accept it. Right. They just don't want to see you move on. They feel like they own you, you guys. That's that's one of the things that we have to remember about the narcissist is that they feel like they own us for life. Like you're like a trophy to this person, whether a male or female. You know, they don't want to see you go anywhere. Even if they do move on, 
you know, um, they want you to be alone. You know, they want you to be pining for them for life. Like it's pretty sad, right? <laughs> so sad. Um, but yeah, they, they want you to change your mind. They may try to manipulate you into staying in the marriage. Um, they may say that they can't do this alone. You know, um, we've been together for so long. Um, the children need us. The children want us to be together. Or, you know, maybe you've been with the narcissist for five years, six years, seven years, maybe even 20 years. And they may say things like, you know, we established so much time, so much energy, so many, like maybe you guys have property or assets, um, you know, and that's, they don't want to let that go or, you know, Maybe they may have to pay alimony or something like that. This person is just going to really try to manipulate the situation because they don't want you to leave. And it's not because they love you. It's just because they don't want to lose that control. Right. And uh, also some of them, they may even, you know, be pretend and they may try to get convince you to um, go into marriage counseling before, you know, you proceed with a divorce. Like some of them, they will just literally try to do anything and everything to stop you. You know, some of them, they'll give you the silent treatment. They, they may, sometimes they may won't answer your phone calls or they may not answer your text messages or something like that, just to stop things from moving forward. Like some of them may not even want to sign the papers. They may say like, I don't have this. So like, or I can't send you the divorce forms or, you know, they're just making it very difficult for it to process because they don't want to lose you. They don't want to lose that power that they have over you. Right. Cause you were their more than likely their primary source of supply. So they don't want to let that go. Right. Because they're, they're feeding off of your energy. But even if they do go to any of the marriage counseling, what they do is again, they will manipulate the situation, manipulate whoever is, you know, trying to counsel you guys and try to, again, make it seem like it's your fault or they try to play the victim and, you know, they're helpless. They can't do this. They're sick, you know, so um, definitely be mindful of that. But yeah, um, that's pretty much all I have to say about that. But um, definitely keep in mind, again, it's never an easy thing divorcing a narcissist. One of the things that I do recommend just to give you guys some tips is, um, especially for those of you, um, you know, maybe you're on a budget or something like that. Uh, what could be easy is to do your divorce forms online, um, go through the process like that. And then um, whether the narcissist wants to sign the papers or not, I, I know that you can wait 30 days. And then um, if you don't hear anything from the narcissist, take it to your local court and then have um, them just say like, you know, my spouse has been missing. I haven't been in contact with my spouse and I want to get a divorce, you know, um, and then just proceed from there, you know. And then others of you, you know, you can do it through the lawyer, especially like, I don't know if you have kids or something like that. If you have assets and you guys have been together for years, um, there's, again, children involved and properties involved. I would definitely recommend um, contacting a lawyer, you know, because, again, the narcissist is going to make it very, very hard for you to be able to separate from them. Again, they're going to be lying on you, lying about you to others, to the lawyers, to the courts. So be prepared for that. Um, be prepared for lots of drama. Be prepared for um, fighting and arguing back and forth. One of the things, too, you want to do is make sure you practice the gray rock method. Um, it's never an easy thing because, you know, it is it could be a difficult time for you going through a divorce. And um, it's never it's never easy. Right. <laughs> you always, um, you know, you got to remain positive and understand that this is happening for a reason, but know that there's something better for you because it's the reason why it didn't work out, you know, but, um, you know, just practice not reacting to the narcissist. They're going to bring a lot of things to you. They're, they're going to put up a fight. They, they're not going to want to let you go so easily, you know, so you got to stand your ground and hold your position and make sure that you follow through with whatever it is that you're doing, you know, separating from the narcissist, being free, moving on, being happy, which again, they don't want to see you do that. They know that you have the potential to be able to go out there, find someone else, love again, be happily, happy and fulfilled. But they can't do that because they're a narcissist, right? Narcissists, they can't love. They can't be happy. They, they can fake it. They can pretend it, right? They can put on that show, that front, like how they did in the beginning when they got this, but it, it's not real. It's not genuine. And they know that you can do that. And so that's why they're so jealous, right? 
and they're trying to stop you from getting that. You know, so um, don't let that hold you back. Again, if you do have children with this person, definitely um, contact a lawyer and see how you guys can work out that custody. Like you have the children one week and they have the children the next weekend. Or if you want to get full custody, you do that. If you feel you don't really feel safe or comfortable um, with your children around the narcissist, whether it's male or female, you know, you know, your own story, you know, your own situation, you do what you feel is best, but I'm just giving you guys some advice. Um, especially if you're going through a difficult time like this, um, again, I'm speaking about this from personal experience. Um, but yeah, that's all I have to say, you guys, I hope that this was um, helpful and insightful when it comes to, um, divorcing a narcissist. Like I said, it's not going to be easy. I know it's going to be, a hard time for you. Um, you know, just stay positive. Remember that, you know, um, you are worthy of real and true love. And sometimes they say you got to lose in order to win again. I think Fantasia sung that song. Sometimes you got to lose to win again or something like that. But it's so true. You know, you, you have to lose someone that doesn't love you, someone that doesn't respect you or value you to gain someone else that will, you know, um, and the narcissist was probably in your life for a reason to teach you a lesson. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's all I, ha that's all I have for you guys today. Um, if you guys want to learn more about this and about how to, um, overcome narcissistic abuse, please feel free to reach out to me. I love to hear from you guys. Um, I do have many, um, products and services that you guys could take a look at and take advantage of, um, definitely visit my website and you can email me at livenarkfree9 at gmail.com. I love to hear from you guys and let me know if this video was helpful and insightful, um, and what you got out of it and, you know, all that stuff. And also leave, um, comments below of other topics that you guys want to learn about narcissistic abuse. And I will make a video about it. And I do have some exciting news. I am coming out with my new audio course. It's going to be entitled The Pathway to Healing Emotionally After um, Narcissistic Abuse. All right. So emotional, the pathway to emotional healing after narcissistic abuse. There we go. <laughs> but yeah, I think that you guys are really going to enjoy that. Um, in that audio course, I talk a lot about um, you know, healing from within, doing that inner work and being able to get to a point where you're happy on the inside and on the outside, but also just accepting how you feel, but being able to move on and go after what it is that you want in life, whether it's again, just being happily, uh, by yourself and being emotionally fulfilled, being successful in all areas of your life. You know, what, what would that feel like again? Because a lot of us, I understand that we do stay stuck in the past. We stay stuck on what the narcissist has done to us and how bad it made us feel and how it's changed us for the worse and how some of us, we just, we can't seem to get over it. We can't seem to move on. No matter what it is that we do, we just still find ourselves just stuck in the past. Or maybe we may uh, be attracted to a certain kind of person and it's just working out those kinks and um, finding out how we can stop ourselves from being attracted to those kind of people and then attracting a new and a healthier kind of person in our life so we can go on and be happy and live the life of our dreams with the man or the girl of our dreams, right? <laughs> so um, definitely, I think that audio course will be for you guys. It will be available. Um, if it's not this Friday, it'll be next Friday. You guys will definitely be notified and I'm excited for you guys to listen to it. Um, it's going to be about 45 minutes long. So definitely um, be on the lookout for that. But yeah, I look forward to hearing from all of you guys. And don't forget support mental health awareness by getting your Live Narc Free t-shirt. I think today is the last day um, to get 30% off by using the promo code Narc Free. So definitely check it out, you guys. I love you so much. Like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Bye, guys.